checking out some wild clips I have for you guys today. I just don't understand. At the end, so make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But in this first one, we are going to start off pretty rough. Basically, there is this guy. He's sitting in his car. And he rolled up his window as his girlfriend is literally flipping out, screaming at him, throwing Damn. even coffee at his window, all because he But cheated. he don't care? He didn't do anything. He just sat in his car and recorded the entire thing and even posted it on Worldstar. This clip went pretty damn viral, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen it, Worldstar? but I had to rewatch it one more time because I could not believe how he just sat there and did absolutely nothing. Like, this guy is literally a loser. At least say something to your girlfriend for cheating. Give her some yeah. kind of reason. Don't sit in the car and just act like she's just crazy because she's really not. I don't blame her at all for this, but let's just roll the clip. Damn, man. Like he's a fake stud muffin, fake stud muffin. But honestly, though, like I understand her pain, though. But or I should say, I really don't understand her pain because I'm not in her shoes, right? So no disrespect. But my point here is that obviously she is, she is mad, right? Understandably. It's kind of wild that she even pays yeah. for his car and pretty much Damn. everything he owns. Of course, he just sits there and does. I get it, man. Nothing. That's that's sad. But if I were her, like I wouldn't waste my energy. I mean, yeah, that that's genuinely sad when you. Mm. Yeah, she, like, I mean, even if she gets the car back, it's like, it, it just goes beyond that, right? Like, this because you one, have invested your time and this person, feelings. They're, like, these parents, they're arguing outside, and I guess one of these kids were outside with these parents, and boy, this little girl lashed out. She did not hold back what she said to this woman, and I think the parents Damn. were surprised. I can't lie. I kind of died laughing at what she said because, well, it's really inappropriate, but the fact that she was saying it and her squeaky voice just made it so much funnier. <laughs> yeah, let's I don't want to spoil at all what she said, but just please watch and let me know what your thoughts are on this. Yeah, show us the clip. Oh, damn. This next one is absolutely wild. Because she was saying well. that you're this sucking on that. Girlfriend cheating. I think he got text messages of her, you know, texting some other guy and sleeping with some other guy. And instead of just talking to her about it, explaining what, what was this, you know, who was this guy, he just got a cold bottle of water as she was asleep and just poured it right over her head. I think he was 100% sure that this girl was absolutely cheating on him and he didn't want to even talk to her. He just got this cold bottle of water, poured on her head, and even told her to get the hell out of the house. But I guess that's <laughs> nothing compared to what other people even do. But let's just keep watching the clip. Yeah, yeah but. She was in Dallas with her people. The hell was out there with another nigga laid up. Yeah, yeah. another one, yeah. The hell was laid up That's a watermelon size hood. San Antonio, we don't finna be gone. This next one's a bit confusing. Yeah, be gone. I'm explaining the best I can. Basically, there is this be going. who walks be going. the Sprint store with his girlfriend. Because I guess the Sprint employee was texting the girlfriend, this guy's girlfriend. And this guy got absolutely furious. He's like, yo, why are you texting my girl? What's going on here? And the Sprint mm -hmm. employee was also getting very mad and heated. It looked like they were both about to fight. All I know is yeah. that this girlfriend was actually cheating on him with the Sprint store employee. Employee, and I just find Oof. it absolutely pathetic. But let's just roll the damn. clip and you guys let me know what your thoughts are on this. So he encountered the... Yo, damn! Yo, first of all, I gotta say, like, those, uh, the shoes are... These shoes are really good out here. No, I'm shooting. So he's... If y'all work with him, get to... This is not nobody to go through. He gonna text your phone, send pictures. That's not cool, bro. No, she texts me first, bro. What happened? I never text her. You stole That's my number. Yo, per... <laughs> So she's saying that he stole her number? God damn, bro. I, I feel like that both of them were in the dark. my number. Quit lying, man. She's lying, bro. I got it in my phone, bro. And nah, I think Stud Muffin, he's speaking facts. I think he's speaking facts. I'm not worried about none of that, bro. Oof. Phone like that, bro. Yo, hey. Oh, nah, this, nah. Yo, that phone's like worth you guys thousand let me know dollars. Who's right or wrong? Is it the Sprint employee who's lying, or is it this woman? I, I think Stud Muffin spinning facts. But 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 the fact that then he says that check your girl and girl. I mean, damn, bro. Like uh, at that point, I'm kind of confused. My cat meters. 
flaring. It's bo going boom right now, bro. Yeah, the employee kind of based, huh? Yeah, we need another sprint employee fast. This guy has a whole lecture from this girl who actually cheated based. on her boyfriend, and this is her reason for cheating. This is one of the craziest clips I've seen on a girl's reason for cheating, and you guys let me know your thoughts. Basically, she is saying she shouldn't have to ask her man, you know, to do stuff with him. She should be able to just do it, and she shouldn't have to wait four or five days to do it. It should just be there for her. She said when she was single, she was able to get what? it every single day, but now since she's in a relationship, it takes way longer, and she doesn't agree with that. So for her reason for cheating is she just wants a better experience. And listen, man, if you wanna, if you want the RTX 3090 be in your PCI slot, my guys, sometimes the RTX 3090 needs a little bit of time to cool down, okay? Like, once it's overclocked, like, you you don't overclock that every day, okay? You do it maybe four days after five days, maybe after a week. You don't do that every single day, okay? Well, you guys just watch the rest of the clip because I don't want to spoil what she says. I think she does if you do it wild, every day, but other people will agree. You guys let me know. Ladies, if y'all want some consistent don't get in a relationship. Go be a oh. Let me tell you how when I was when I was a hoe, I never I never had to go days without. You still a? Uh, I always had something on standby. Now I'm in a relationship. I can't even I can't even get a good a good a good pumping. Bruh. I, I don't even be trying to do it every day. Maybe every two days. Maybe every three days. If that. Sometimes I go four days. I should never have to. That that's that's our first world problems. That's our first no, world more than problems. Two days without, if I'm in a relationship and we're living in the same house. That shit is so stupid. Do you think she has a point with what she says? And is this a good excuse for cheating? Or is she after I mean listen, okay? I, I get it that you want a little bit of that RTX 3090, okay? Maybe a little bit too much though. Let's keep a buck fifty, but I mean it needs time to cool totally down. Crazy. Bro. And now finally, you cannot overclock it every day. Basically, this guy was ready to propose to his girlfriend. And he just sees her at the mall. I don't know why he saw her at the mall, but he's just, you know, sitting down. But he saw her sitting down, and I guess he started proposing to her until this man came up to him with food. And he started sitting down next to his girlfriend. He's like, Yo, who are you? I'm here proposing to my girlfriend. And I guess she was already on a date with another another guy as this proposal was going on and this man's like yo yo get out of here i'm trying to eat my food with my girl he's like nah man that's my girl i'm trying to propose to her and the girl was absolutely humiliated and this happened at a mall where it was so packed and everybody just saw this i mean if he was ready to propose to her they must have been good, together though. for at least what three to four years but she was ready on dates with some other guy and i think he was getting taco bell like this is just humiliating maybe and she just wanted to talk i feel really bad him. for the guy because you see the ring in his hand but i'm just gonna roll the clip and you guys let me know your thoughts are on to this. be honest man would you i would say that's actually good that he found out before exchanging the rings right no i came there i came here to do something for you. that's good he found out honestly <laughs> your homie laughing Hold on, wait, what's, what's up? What's up? i don't know whoever proposes at a mall like this but he still looked really happy what's going on? What's this sweet shit? that's all that matters bro like you can do it wherever I was about to propose to my girlfriend. It's supposed to be at work. I was about to propose to her. You about to propose, man? I was about to propose. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yo, hey, hey, hey. He about to propose, bro. I was about to propose. Get away from me, bro. You about to be at work. Go back to work. That's crazy. Go back to work, he said? <laughs> Let me get that's, that's how you gonna do him now. Go that's back how you gonna do him. Income tax season come. That's how you gonna do him. Come on, bro. It ain't worry, man. You know you can't fight. Today's shadow winner goes to this <laughs> comment. Uh, I, I guess we call it scarcity. The demand of RTX 3090 is unreal, fellas. But click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there. Just click it, man. You're gonna.